Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the iPhone XR in the coral color, which is kind of like the pink version of um, this year's iPhone. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. This is of course uh, just the base model that retails for $750 plus tax, ends up coming into around $810. And uh, yeah, so I am unboxing all the colors and there will be a lot of things that I mention over and over again. So, you know, excuse me for that if you're watching all the videos. If you're not, then, you know, good thing I'm going over all the info. We do get the quick start guide here along with a SIM eject tool and some Apple stickers. And that's pretty much gonna do it for the papers. And then right off the bat here, we have that coral color which right there kind of just looks like orange on the camera. What am I seeing right now? Yeah, it's a very interesting color because here in person, it's kind of a deeper color and uh, very, it's, I mean, it's a very bright, it almost looks neon. I mean, not in the sense that the 5C colors look like neon, this is kind of like a different style, uh, but it looks really nice, wow. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't expecting to like this color, but now looking at it, it looks like a, a very light red and uh, with some pinkish and orange hues to it. And it just looks, I mean, yeah, it looks like coral. I mean, it looks really good. The sides here do look a little bit more gearing towards a rose or a pink color. And of course they are made of aluminum, but it does look really good. Let me get a closer look at this. And uh, yeah. I'm kind of blown away by the color just because it actually looks pretty good. In the box, you're also gonna get just your charging adapter for you know the wall, lightning cable, and then some ear pods and nothing else. So no adapter for your headphones. If you were looking for that, you are gonna to have to buy that separately on Amazon, which uh, does suck when you're paying so much for a phone, but of course Apple's moving away from that and kind of the industry as a whole is moving away from that. Even though I think in general people don't, whoops, all right, and uh, yeah, so let's move on and let's go ahead and boot this guy up and check it out. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as first impression goes, this color is really nice. So I mean, if you're slightly considering the color above all the other ones, I mean, just go for it. I think you're gonna really love it. It looks really good. And honestly, it looks a million times better than the rose gold, in my opinion. And uh, any of the pink colors actually that we've gotten in previous years, it's just a really, really nice color. And uh, it gives me a lot of summer vibes, which is really great. So you can see how it looks there with the border there. So you can't tell too much. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup process here. And actually I'll go through it in this video just so you guys can see what exactly you have to set up. And um, yeah, of course the first thing that's gonna ask you is to set up Wi-Fi, and then it's gonna activate your iPhone. Depending on where you got it from or what carrier it is, it'll let you go through or it might ask you to put a SIM card in or activate the SIM card straight up so that you can use the phone. We'll see here what's gonna happen. And it's unable to activate. We'll try again using Wi-Fi. It kept happening. I think just the Apple servers are screwed up and uh, I'll keep trying here. All right, so it is making me put a SIM card in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my 10S SIM card and go ahead and install it in this guy. And uh, yeah, so the SIM card was moved slightly to the bottom, which uh, really makes no difference. It's not better or worse than the placement of the 10S. But uh, yeah, as far as features go, you don't get uh, dual band or I mean dual SIM support on the 10S. Oh yeah, one thing to note is that the SIM card is also the other side up on this guy. But uh, yeah, you don't get dual SIM support on the 10R while on the 10S you do. Uh, it doesn't have two SIM card slots on the 10s, but it does have support for it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue activation here. Now, of course, the 10R isn't worse technically. I mean, it has some missing features that the iPhone 10s has that makes it less premium. But of course, you're still going to get Face ID. You're still going to get pretty much everything that you get with the iPhone 10s, except for the uh, lower resolution display, and then of course the missing dual SIM, and just a couple other things here and there that just, I think for every day-to-day -day use that most people use it. I mean, if you're upgrading from an iPhone 7, 8, I mean, this is an upgrade. You're not missing out on not getting the iPhone 10s. you're still upgrading. It's pretty much if you had the iPhone 10, I mean, this is kind of pointless to get. 
unless you really want the new camera or you really, really want the new colors, which I could feel because I mean, the new colors are just amazing. So here we're going through just the setup stuff. You can set up Siri. We'll do that later. Screen time, continue. You can just see the process. It is kind of a long process, but it does go over all these things. Let's go zoomed. I think it looks a little bit better. And uh, yeah, then it goes over the home button, of course, which is missing this year. You're getting no home button, just like the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10s, which is great. And you can see it there with the wallpaper. It looks really, really good. And let's go ahead and unlock it. And uh, yeah, you can just see how good that looks. I think this color looks great. I mean, if you're just thinking about getting this color, just straight up, go get it. I mean, it's a really nice color. However, I mean, I haven't looked at all the other colors, but I think this might be in my top as well. I think I like all of them. And uh, yeah, they're just really nice colors. You can see it, but yeah, that is the Coral iPhone XR. If you guys have any questions, this was just kind of like a brief overview. It's not a review or anything of the phone. Of course, it's just kind of taking a look at the color and the box and uh, that's it. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Reach out to me on Twitter, at RMRDNL on Twitter, and I'll get back to you there. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.